Good morning. Hey guys, Dan here. Um, I'm about to go to work in the next little bit. Um, and I was just sitting here and I hear there's a lot of people making a big deal over what Joe Biden said in his interview. Joe Biden said yesterday that if you vote for Trump, you're not black. So if you don't vote for Joe Biden and you're black, you are no longer African American. And you know what? First of all, I thought everybody thought that way. Okay, Justin, I just had a crazy brain fart. What if an albino is someone that voted for Trump? And is that what an albino is? Um, that would make a lot of sense because I've seen a lot more of them lately here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I saw two at the grocery store yesterday. I should have gone up to them and said, oh, let me guess, you're not going to vote for Joe Biden. That's the universe's way of pointing out people that betrayed the Democratic Party. But anyway, the point is, I stand by Joe Biden's comment. Um, it's, um, it's pretty much understood. If you vote for Trump and you're black, you are no loud, no long, no longer. Oh, it's got me tongue tied, Justin. You're no longer allowed to walk around and claim to be black. Let me guess, you suddenly don't want to watch BET anymore. And all of a sudden, you care what CMT has to say. Oh, gosh, Justin, country music is horrible. So, yes, stop complaining, conservatives. At least they don't, you know, at least Democrats don't walk around with a shirt on that says MAGA. Make America great again? No, it, it stands for make America white again. We all know that. We all know that. So, good job, Joe Biden. We need people to understand that voting for Trump will definitely change the pigment of your skin. Science backs that up, just like the coronavirus. So I'm still voting for Biden. Resist.